Hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode six of the Life Writers blog, where you can find inspiration and guidance to help you write your life stories. This is a bonus episode. We don't have many fifth Thursdays in the year, so I wanted to give you a taste of what it's like on the fifth Thursday. Our focus today is seeing what we can learn from some great writers to help us improve our own writing. I'll do this on all fifth Thursdays of the month, but as I said, you won't see it every month. It'll be worth waiting for. One of my all-time favorites of giving writing advice in such a wonderful way is Mark Twain. I found this book I dearly love. It's called Mark My Words, Mark Twain on Writing. And this whole book is filled with great quotes in Mark Twain's unique way of saying things. I return to this book over and over again because his advice is so good and it's so blasted funny. It helps me remember it. Even though Twain did most of his writing in the 18th century, his advice is as true today as it ever was. Many of Twain's quotes on writing are used over and over again by teachers and professors to help students become more skillful with the written word. Many of his sayings come back to me right when I need them the most because he writes with such humor and humor makes them memorable to me. I wanted to share a few of my favorite sayings of Mark Twain, some of his best ones, the ones I love the most. You can see my, how many tabs I've got here. One of them, he says, the difference between the right word and the almost right word is the difference between lightning and the lightning bug. That's, that's pretty different. Our English language contains a lot of words. Merriam-Webster includes 470,000 main entries. So you have a lot of words to choose from. You don't need to settle for the first word that comes to mind. Look for the best word that is going to do the job for you. Another one he has is about adjectives. And he says, as for the adjective, when in doubt, strike it out. Now, Twain isn't saying all adjectives are bad. Adjectives can help us to allow the reader to see what we see. But description is not about loading up our sentences with all kinds of flowery descriptions. That's not it. Description is best when it focuses on strong verbs, which show action, and concrete nouns. Those are much better ways than adjectives to describe something. I think that's what Twain is saying here. Pay attention to your adjectives. Do you need it? Is there a better way to describe what you're trying to make clear to the reader? If you are in doubt whether it's needed or not, chances are you don't need it, so delete it. This one is my all-time favorite. It's one that gives me pause every time I write the word very. Twain says, substitute damn every time you're inclined to write very. Your editor will delete it and the writing will be just as it should be. I love that quote, because very is such an empty word. It really doesn't say much. It's an adjective that means to a high degree or in actual fact, but we use very, we overuse it because we are so used to hearing it and our phrases don't sound right without it. We want to make sure the reader gets it and knows how important what it is that we're trying to say is. But believe me, there are much better ways to do that than using very. If the main word is strong enough, you don't need very. So tell us what author's advice rings true for you. Share it in the comments section below. How do these words influence your writing? How do you use this advice from this writer? So until next time, everybody, happy writing.
If you enjoyed this week's episode, you will love our Life Writers membership. Whether you don't know where to start writing your life stories, have started and stopped many times, or have been writing but want to receive feedback to make your stories better, the Life Writers membership is where you need to be. We have a Get Started Roadmap, an extensive library of instructional videos, live events via Zoom, and a supportive and active community. If you want to take the stories that live in your heart and mind and put them onto the page, check out Life Writers at lifewriters.us.